aviation expert and former commercial airline pilot J.P. Tristani is joining me now from New York. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure, Susan. We just heard our reporter Giles Gibson say that one black box has been recovered. They're looking for the second. I would imagine that this will be the key to determining what could have gone wrong. Exactly right, because if that is, first of all, and primarily, the cockpit voice recorder, you're going to hear what the pilots experienced, what they saw, and possibly their initial reactions, because that flight didn't last much longer than possibly over a minute. Um, so that is crucial. And if it's the flight data recorder, then you're also going to have not only the profile that the aircraft had on takeoff, but was there any discrepancies in the engine performance, the systems, or the control systems? Now, when you can connect the both of those, flight data recorder with the cockpit voice recorder, you get a timeline and you get an initial uh, more positive idea of what occurred in such a short space of time. So this Mexican charter company, according to the Associated Press, uh, whose plane crashed in Havana, has been the subject of two serious complaints about its crew's performance over the last decade and also a retired pilot for Cuba's national airline. What do you make of that in terms of the investigation? It's not unusual for these type of carriers that are leased and they're far below the major carriers of the world, even the notable region carriers of the world. And so you have a considerable amount of problems that may involve maintenance and more specifically, both the hiring of the, the crews and the training of the crews, which is extremely important. And so that is not an unusual suspicion to fall on a carrier such as this and an aircraft that had the age of that aircraft that had started out its lifespan 40 years ago with Southwest Airlines went on to about seven more companies, including one over in Kazakhstan. So there's a lot of maintenance records that has to go through. And of course, the most important is the pilot training. So why was this information not made public to average citizens looking for flights? That's not something that even the average citizen could understand. The average citizen doesn't understand how often a pilot in command, what you call a captain, is required to be trained or what the training program consists of or the co-pilot or the amount of total hours that each must have or what we call a type rating that the pilot in command would have in that aircraft and the amount of hours and his exposure and experience. That would just really be a confusion to be giving out to passengers. What they're looking for is statistics of the safety that is put out by the national uh, state that is controlling that airliner and that aircraft. So we have information from the AP that the plane was actually barred from Guyanese airspace last year after authorities discovered that its crew had been allowing dangerous overloading of luggage on flights to Cuba. Are there, is there not a system in place where um, fines are levied and you're held accountable? Yes, fines are levied, you're held accountable, but the problem is, is you're talking about a reactive problem and not a proactive. And since at one point in my career, in the last part of the 43 years, I flew for national car or uh, sub uh, carriers that also operated into Africa and other places. And the problem that you're talking about is uh, overly loading an aircraft, uh, weight and balance problems, shortage of fuel. I fought that for almost every flight on a number of companies that I flew for. Well, J.P. Tristani, Tristani, thank you for helping us try and make sense of this horrific tragedy. We appreciate there it. There is no real sense that such a loss of life, but hopefully there will be an examination, and I hope that the Cubans will allow the NTSB of America and Boeing to come in to Cuba and give their outstanding expertise to solve this problem. I hope so as well. J.P. Tristani, thank you for that.